Today we are going to build the torso of the Move humanoid robot as a weekend project. Coming up on Zachary 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews and many other cool things you can do with 3D printing. If you are new to the channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And you can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I will put the links in the description of this video. And if you would like to support this channel as well, that would be awesome and great because this project is also going to cost a little bit money. And if you want to support my channel, then feel free to do so. I'll put a Patreon link in the description of this video. But now we are going to start building the InMove robot. So like I mentioned in the intro and mentioned it a few times on this channel, now today we are going to build the InMove humanoid robot, the torso part. And it's not nothing mechanical, it's only the torso part. So this is the very easy and most simple thing to start building on the InMove robot. Like I mentioned a few times, I wanted to make a Friday or weekend project for the channel. And today I'm going to start with it. And I also had to make some offers and like you can see I've got all the parts here and the Inmove robot is separated in multiple boxes. So I took it apart to make sure that I have everything sorted out. I've got something like a <laughs> 12 boxes I guess, 12 something like that with all different kind of parts. Uh, it took me a whole Sunday afternoon to tear all the robot apart and now we are going to see how fast that went. Well, it took a few hours.
So what do you need and what they, do you need to pay attention to? When starting building the Inmove torso, um, you have to make sure that everything you are going to print has an infill of 30 or 50 percent doesn't matter which kind of infill you will take but make sure that when you are going to do that make sure that the uh, structural parts are the ones that have 50 percent uh, there are some pieces here that has an infill of 100 percent but then i started with printing and somebody said hey maybe not using 100% infill but 50% uh, like you can see I've got track sheets there you can fill in everything when slicing with uh, Prusar or uh, Cura or different other slicing software you fill in every part that you need to print how much time it takes but also how much weight or length that you need for that uh, particular part but now we are going to build the move robot if you are if your 3d printer is calibrated well enough then you have a tight fit or a good fit and my parts are very good um, not that it is too loose but it is also not too tight so i'm going to take a big with the pliers, this plier, uh, this, this, I don't know how you call this part, this, this tool, but with this one, I'm going to uh, put all pieces together. There are some pieces like these two, for example, these are from the neck, but in this process, it's better to assemble them into the torso before you have to take everything apart. Also, these two, these are from the uh, these are from the top stomach. These are the the ones that make the torso go left and right. And I'm taking that because I don't want to put them apart again. And now I have the opportunity to put them right in. But let's get into the assembly. First, when we start, we use the neck piece and put them together like this. This is an easy fit. Make sure that the hole is on the back side and also make sure that both parts are the same. that so this part we can assemble right onto the torso back part make sure that this these two parts are well filed enough that it will fit right into here but if you have to make some corrections that you can easily take it off because sometimes it happens that you make a mistake or a little error and that you still have the opportunity to change it so i'm going to file this and then we are going to put them on the side So this part is ready and now we are going to put the pieces that we need to put together we are going to arrange them so some parts like you can see uh, have male but also female connection male a female connection and there are some parts that are on the back side and on the front side so you have to make sure that all the parts that you are going to use that they are aligned that they are on the right side 
Also make sure that when you are going to print everything that those two pieces are also in your back torso panel because those you use to uh, put the servo holders for the neck parts. So now we are going to put together the pieces for the back side. So these are the backside pieces. Some parts like these are need to be printed twice. Also these need to be printed twice and these. The other ones are or single or different type. So with further So this is how it's supposed to be to go, go together. And if you are looking carefully, you have here on the back side, you have the part out where the servo holder is going to be. So now we are going to take the plier and we are going to put all pieces together. So when you are going to mount the midsection, that is the, this piece, make sure that when you are going to mount this part, make sure that your uh, servo holder is also attached to it before uh, tapping it down with a rubber hammer. And also make sure that the longer side is on the back side. So that your server is going to sit here with the rotation part and that also the um, part for the piston is here and not on the back side or else it would be looking very weird and also uh, it's, it's going to get stuck on the front side. Talking about the front side, now we are going to make the front side. So, and this is the inner part of the torso on the front side. It's, it's uh, assembled and um, everything is straight as possible. Also make sure that where your ball bearings are going to be for your uh, uh, top stomach, that it is on the outside and not on the inside. I made a little mistake uh, for the back side. It was on the inside and not on the outside. So now I've got two right pieces and we are going to assemble the two parts together. Also this part, it's going to happen that I have to take it off again. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But there is also one gear that should supposed to be here, but that one I can always put in there and use some Allen nuts to put them there. So I'm going to take the back side so we have two pieces here for the hips to 
move. One side is, is uh, small and it is like this. The back side is going like this. Something like that. And then we can put the front side on top of it. But before we do that, just put this one here. It's going to be assembled with some screws. Let's assemble the pieces together. So like you can see, this part of the Immove humanoid robot is ready. I would call this the inner torso or the mid torso section. It's the part that you are not going to see that much. Maybe on, only a part of this or some, some parts on the sides. Uh, maybe you can use some covers, I don't know. But in this case, this is the mid torso or the inner torso from the Immove humanoid robot. Before I'm going to close this, I want to tell or I want to say that you have to be careful when you are going to assemble this, that you don't use that much force only on the parts that needs to be put together. I don't know, it's, it's something like a puzzle, but every part should be on the right place. As you can see, it's not that difficult. You can also visit uh, the website of InMove, InMove.fr. It's from uh, Gael uh, Langvin, and he designed this humanoid robot. Big shout out for him, for all the work that he did on this humanoid robot. And for Sakri 3D Prints, this is a weekend project that I will launch every one or two times a month. So that being said, thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to Zachary 3D Prints and I will see you next time. Happy 3D printing, Zachary 3D Prints.